Hello, welcome. I'm Steve Watson here at Someday Farm with uh, another Najach One Challenge. Today we have some props and uh, we have a feather and a stone. And uh, as with all the Najach One Challenges, the idea is here uh, is not to embark on the challenge uh, unless you're in uh, reasonable need of a challenge because of your curriculum place in the curriculum uh, or the situation in your school uh, or in your studies or with your uh, teacher or system. Uh, it isn't to look outside what you're currently being taught, uh, but sometimes uh, you're ready to move on and the class hasn't, uh, or you haven't been in a class in some time and you're looking for uh, some challenging variation. So today's, uh, we're using props and I have a stone and a feather. And the idea here, whatever the Najach one is, maybe I'll do a little Aikido moving or something. We'll see how, how I end up moving. Um, but the idea here is about the holding on. And of course, we have, you know, significantly varied weights here. I'm going to guess that this is a good uh, five pounds, the stone, and, you know, uh, less <laughs> less than uh, 0.5 ounces or so is the feather. I don't know. And uh, of course, I'm interested in how they feel and how they different, how they catch the air and how one tires me, one doesn't. And, one forces a lot of focus to hang on to it lightly, and the other doesn't. Uh, of course, since I'm doing Nei Chuan, I don't want to simply just have a death grip and have a death grip, and in, in the case of the feather, destroy the feather, and in the case of this, uh, overwork my muscles, so I kind of lose sight of the Nei Chuan. So I'm looking to hold this as lightly and as gently as I can, but also not drop it on my toes. Uh, same thing for this. I want to hold it as lightly as I can, so I can really tune into its qualities, but not so lightly that I lose it and I might I could drop it uh, so so here we go right, so I'm doing something where normally I have two like hands in terms of their movement and of course they feel quite unlike I'm going to make sure that I don't just end up fighting the fall of the stone by just tightening, tightening, gripping, and tiring myself. I want to lightly but securely hold it and learn what it has to teach. And the same with the feather. So if this had not been a challenge about hanging on, it would be a, bit a challenge about feeling them. I might have hooked this into a bracelet, the feather, and I might have strapped a wrist weight on my wrist so that I can kind of feel the two different things, but it isn't a study of holding them. It's a study of just um, interacting with them through my practice. But this is about holding. And so I'm also just changing how I hold it and trying to keep sight of how I would normally do this practice. Uh, Off the profile. I'm finding I can almost just throw the stone a tiny little bit at the top and I kind of re grip it. And then when I leave the top, I can feel the feather rising against my fingers. Yeah, so that's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool one. There you go. Thank you. So that's your Nature Twan challenge for the week. Please comment, share, like, subscribe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, uh, so that I know that uh, you're here for this and you want more. Uh, thank you all very much. Steve Watson, Someday Farm, Nature Twan Challenge.